You know in the movies, those psychopaths that sing to their victim while they inflict pain on them? Even more so, the songs that they are singing are that of holiness and praise to the one above. Imagine bashing your enemy's face in with a stick of holiness and righteous power while they are unable to move or fight back. The music is just so beautiful but the music is also hurting them and making them take more damage from your blows. If that's your play style, then you're gonna love the Chivalry Bard. The Chivalry Bard is an updated version of the Mace Piecer template video that we did long ago. Now, just like that other one, I would strongly recommend this as a starting template for newer players, as the cost is extremely low and the yield is very high. Now that's not to say that this build can't be used by a veteran player as it is extremely, extremely viable even at end game. So with that being said guys, sit back, grab your holy water, and let's play some music. <laughs> yeah, barding break. All right, guys, let's jump straight into the template. The template's gonna start off with 115 for peacemaking. Now this is gonna make it to where the monsters can't move, they can't attack, they're, they're literally just standing there while you bash their face in. Piece the ground to increase the melee accuracy, and you can even piece yourself while you're running through a dungeon, and it will do a very short duration piece on all the monsters around you. Disordinance at 115 is gonna increase the large sum of damage dealt towards that particular creature and then also decrease damage dealt by that creature. Don't forget also to use it on the floor next to you for your damage reduction from all creatures. Musicianship at 115. As said before you can't do the disco without the music. Tactics at 100 because we gotta do damage am I right? We're gonna go with macing at 100. I went with macing to utilize the two hand damage bonus given recently as well as wild swing for big boy hits. If you're feeling more defensive and want to stay out of harm's way, archery is a surefire way to go. However, you won't benefit from the damage bonus given to two-handers. Chivalry at 95. Keeping Divine Fury on auto for the swing speed buff, it leaves you with five symbols, leaving you with your emergency holy light as a heal to use in oh shit moments. I found using Consecrate Weapon or Enemy of One when I knew I wasn't going to need Holy Light worked as well. Let's not forget the free rune book and 5% damage increase from Sacred Journey. For the last 80 points, we're going to put in 80 Forensic Eval. One, because we need leather. Two, it's going to increase our damage. And three, it helps with barding as well. Now some people may put the 80 points in Arms Lore so that they can disarm, which yet again increase damage. However, there is no barding bonus here. Another popular choice may be tracking. Some prefer tracking for the PK radar, and once again, there is a nice barding bonus with this as well. With that being said though, let's move on into the aspect. Now obviously, Lyric Armor for the bonus damage to barded targets for bigger hits, bonus to song effectiveness, and effective barding skill. It's just the all-around bard armor. I mean, it's called Lyric. I did try to use air armor uh, for the weapon speed was really nice. I didn't notice the damage resistance as much because the monster stats weren't driven down as much as the lyric armor. I'd rank this below lyric but still very useful and maybe even more cost effective. The artisan weapon. I brought back an old favorite, the artisan weapon for this one. When it procced, the damage was even more intense. You're already a support character so your friends will love you even more while this proc goes off. Disciplined Weapon is another great one, similar to Artisan, but the bonus is self only. Although it does have a nice direct damage burst to it as well that you may favor. Once again, I'd rank this below Artisan, but yet I'd still say it's very useful, and once again, the cost on it is not near as much as Artisan. Talking about the chain, there's three main ones here. Effective Barding Links, damage to barded creatures, and then links to hit your accuracy and swing speed cap. If you went with macing like I did, on the macing codex, we are using a two-hander and only able to unlock four tiers, hitting this bad boy with wild swing for even more increased damage. Otherwise, Sunder is our go-to. Now for the part you guys have all probably been waiting for, the barding codex. We're gonna go with Ensemble on rank three since we are using two songs. Ensemble can give us up to 24% damage increase. It's quite a bit. Perfect pitch, rank three, because once again, this build is based on successfully barding. 
We don't want to leave anything to chance to failing, so let's help that by 30%. Now this one, Reverb, can either be in rank 2 or 1. Two levels is going to give us a 10% damage towards the most recent barded creature. However, we may just do one for 5%. I'll explain now. Sing your own praises on rank 1 or 2, and this will give us a 15% bonus on our peace and discord buffs, meaning more accuracy and better defense versus enemy creatures. If you're lower level in aspect though, perhaps this one may be rank 2 for 30% effectiveness, and you will have a better chance at hitting the monster. This is kind of where we teeter-totter between reverb and sing your own praises. You guys figure out which is better for you based on your aspect skill and links and all that good stuff. The final point, we're going to go ahead and put in vocal range. This will increase the range of our songs by one tile. Let me know in the comments below anything different that you did for your Chivalry Bard, as I'm sure it's very popular right now. I just kind of feel like Chivalry is just one of those needed skills for any type of Dexter, similar to Necromancy is just one of those needed skills for any type of mage. They've really, really made those some very effective skills, but in doing so, I feel like it's kind of pigeonholed those particular skills for those particular builds. With that being said though, guys, um, it is time for our beer of the day. I just want to thank you guys so much for such a great 2021. Uh, we were able to hit 3,000 subscribers. We are over 50 channel members uh, and over 15 Patreons. You guys have been extremely supportive over the last two years. and it really means a ton to me so thank you so much for that uh today's beer of the day is from coop brewing coop brewing is great uh, they're here in oklahoma city uh right around where i live and they make some really good beers now this beer in particular my girlfriend is training for a marathon actually and she was up at red coyote and they had a uh, coop there and they were giving out beers she said which beer would you suggest and this is the one that they gave to her and she brought it home for me so that was really sweet of her with that being said guys here we go once again thank you so much like this video subscribe if you haven't and all that good stuff cheers to you hmm skull i mean yeah that's good that's good the belgian style table beer it's even red coyote kind of logo on it so that's really cool i guess they worked together or whatever all right guys that being said thanks for watching phone star gaming out Smile.